All right, guys, we're going to get going here. Go. Back, uh, we're continuing on with this this demonstration we've been doing of the Speed Twin engine. What we stopped and took a break for was to go ahead and let the blifter, lifters bleed down. You guys actually saw where this one, I was unable to rotate it because it was uh, the lifters bled up. So we can rotate this one, and we can just start to rotate this one, which means we have some free play. So any time before we close this up, what we want to do is go ahead and rotate the engine. Go ahead and do that in normal direction of travel. We got spark plugs out. What's cool is we can actually watch this operate now. Now what he's doing is he's going to go slow. You aren't going to go in there and if this were in the motorcycle, you wouldn't go in there and actually just hit the starter button or something. There's a chance you could bounce the valves off the pistons. So go ahead and just keep rotating the normal direction of travel. A couple things that we're doing is we're making sure spark plugs out, correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah, go longer stroke all the way over here. All the way across. Okay? And we're going nice and slow there, and what we're doing is making sure that we don't have any contact with the piston. This is your last chance. When you when you start to do this, this you're I mean you're gonna end up having a problem if you don't do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the base circle again. The intake just moved to stop right there. And I'm getting, I know that we're real close right here just watching how much this bounced and see how I can rotate that perfectly fine. I can rotate this one perfectly fine. So now we're going to be able to move forward and actually close up this side. These guys are, would go ahead and, and most people would go ahead and do all of it. Then you'd have the opportunity to turn the engine over, being able to watch all four of them open and close multiple times, checking that you don't have any issues and you're going to be good to go. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure, and I, I want you guys to see how to properly install this push rod tube into a Harley Davidson uh, motor here. We know we have a metal shim that's down here that you guys saw we had a part before, okay? So what I want to do is get my O-ring up here. I've got lots of lube on here, especially with this, this accessory cover here. Did you guys notice how I kind of rocked that in place? Mm -hmm. Now, every time you have an O-ring, you should be able to spin this, and it should be perfectly fine and free. Does that make sense? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my cup, and I'm going to work this up, and I'm going to get up inside here. Hold the flashlight here. Get the video in here, and we'll see if you can see this. And I'm going to pop it. I'm going to make sure this goes, and I'm going to pop it into place up in the cylinder head. The other thing you notice, see how there's a little bit of wiggle room here? That's normal. If you don't seat that O-ring, it's going to be a problem that's going to leak, and it's a pain in the butt to try and fix this once I'm uh, in place. Now, a lot of times with, with new O-rings, it'll kind of stick itself and seat in place. Can I have the tool? This is a neat tool by uh, Moshe Pro. There's multiple companies out here do, that have the same tool. And what this allows me to do is spread the cup, slip this in place with no effort whatsoever, and I'm able to do this. Some of you guys have seen the trick where you take and use a screwdriver on a fin here, and then a pair of needle nose pliers and pop it in and out, and that works fine too. The other thing I want you guys to think about is look at the cosmetic value of this. Make sure and put your clips right in the middle here so that it looks good. A customer doesn't want to come out and see half their push rod exposed like that. Does that make sense? So we're going to have this nice and in place. We would go ahead and do the other side here. Like I said, this chrome cover here is being a pain here. We might have to pry on that a little bit to get that up in place. We'll set this.